Hey everybody, it's Chris, and I am going to try a little bit different technique today. Um, this is kind of a hybrid of the balloon, I'm going to call it the balloon stamp method. So it's not really a kiss, because I believe with a kiss you pour your paint first and then press the balloon into the poured paint with your colors in it. So what I'm going to do today is work on a negative space of white, and I'm, I've prepped my colors that I'm going to stamp into with my handy dandy balloon. So the colors I'm using are yellow medium. This is the metallic cobalt from Artist Loft. This is a paint that Michaels carries. Uh, Deep Violet, which is a Liquitex Basics. This is also a Liquitex Basics. Um, and Mineral Blue, this is a Soho Artist Loft color. And then Medium Magenta, which is also a Liquitex Basics paint. I have also mixed up, I. I'm trying this as a small canvas just to see if it will work, but I have a space above the TV in the living room that I would really like to do a 12 by 36. And I have a lot of flip cup pours already in the house, so I thought it would be kind of cool to have a negative space one. And I thought this might be kind of a little bit fun technique to try. Hopefully it'll work. Um, so I want metallic in it, <clears throat> more metallic than just my cobalt. And I really love um, sparkly stuff. <laughs> So I've been using the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat in some of my pores. So this is actually the Sterling Silver. So I have some of that mixed up with my pouring medium and I've um, got that mixed. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of make, I think I'll just pour that around kind of the center into all of the colors. So I just kind of did little pools on my plate of my different colors and it slowly has been filling into the center I think this plate is slightly domed and that's probably why it's not filled into the center. So I'm hoping that by adding this silver on here, it'll kind of push it into the middle a little bit more, plus it'll give me that metallic sheen that I would like to have. And I'm gonna go out just a tiny bit more here with that. And that is definitely pushing my color into the middle there. And then I think I'm gonna put some right in the middle and so that way the entire plate is filled with color. And my goal is, I don't know, I don't know if I'll be able to pick up each color or if I'll just kind of go into separate areas of it and pull different colors from there. We'll see. Okay, so this is my plate of paint for my balloon dip. I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm working on a 12 by 24 canvas today. I've mixed up my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Paint so that I can flood the surface with white. So I'm just gonna start, I haven't done anything to prep this canvas just because it's a negative space. So the paint should flow over the sides and coat the sides nicely. So I just wanna make sure that I've got enough paint on here so that I have some still left on the surface, but the whole thing is covered. And I'm just gonna use my popsicle stick and just kind of even this out a bit and make sure that I do have enough paint. So I've got my surface all prepped now. And the next thing that I want to do is add my stream of white onto the canvas. So this is more of my flow acrylic. I've added about 11 
drops of silicone in here. So it's pretty heavy with silicone, but I don't have silicones in any of my other paints. So I wanted to make sure that I did get some reaction. So I am just gonna start over here on this side and just kind of do a stream of where I feel like I want this painting to go. And then hopefully that line stays defined <laughs> so that I can see it as I start. Okay guys. So we're all prepped and we're ready to start doing the balloon. And I probably need more paper towels to wipe that on. Because I think the key to this is wiping the balloon off with each one so that you don't get a muddied mess. All right, guys, here we go. I have to tell you that I really do not like balloons. They freak me out. So hopefully not as much if it's just filled with air. But So here's my balloon. And here's my paint. So I am just going to dip right into the middle. There we go. And there's the paint. And then I'm just going to start right here. And I feel like I kind of need to squish it around. And that sure did not work, did it? All right. So there's a lesson. I don't think we want to squish it around. I think we want to just touch it. So let's try this again. So I'm going to go back into my paint and I'm just going to touch it to the canvas. Boy, this is not working. All right, I think we're going to do this in a different manner because that just is not working. I don't know for sure what I'm doing wrong. Maybe my paints need to be thicker, thinner. Hmm. All right, guys, we're going to go to plan two. All right, so I am going to put down little puddles, and we're going to try it that way. I do have some cool cells and stuff, but holy cow. All right, we'll go back to a different plan. So I'm going to add some of my deep violet onto the canvas, and I'm following my where my silicone is at. And then let's put a little bit of mineral blue on there. And then I think what I'll do is add a few more puddles of different colors throughout. And then we'll go into the mineral blue with some medium magenta on these other guys. And maybe do a medium magenta puddle here. And then we'll come back in with metallic cobalt. Maybe put a little bit of that on some of these other little circles we have going. And then the yellow, I think we're going to put that on top of the pink. Oops, that's okay. I don't have much pink left, do I? And then let's do a yellow puddle on its own. And then I think we'll come back with pink on that because I think that'll kind of give us a little peachy effect, which will be pretty. We'll see if we can make this work. Okay, so that's all of the colors. Let's put a little bit of yellow into some of these blue ones. And then we need to add some of that silver into some of these guys. I'm not gonna put it on all of them. Just a few here and there. And as I'm working, I can see more cat hairs falling on the surface, which is awesome. <clears throat> okay, so I think we have all the colors represented. I'm not sure if I have them represented well. I feel like I could have a few more colors in some of these. I think I will go with three colors in each one, maybe. Let's put a little bit of blue on top of this and see if we can get a green pull out of that one. And on this one. And then the deep violet. We'll put this guy here. I think I'm looking for at least three, three colors in each one. So let's put some pink in this one. And hopefully with the different colors, I'll have some different variations of 
I kind of feel like I need to have a little puddle here too because that didn't work out so great. It's pretty though. I have to say it is pretty. And then let's do a little bit of pink because sometimes yellow and purple are not friends. Okay. All right, I'm back with the balloon. And let's see if we just press into these guys. What happens? All right, I wanna make sure that I have this balloon cleaned off. I have to say that the paint is quite pretty where I'm wiping it off, but it sure isn't working out on the canvas, is it? Okay, guys, here we go. Let's see if this works. I think what happens is I'm picking up my paint on my balloon. I'm gonna go over to this one because those are kind of the same colors. Yeah, this totally is not working. Hmm, I'm not sure what the problem is. I think my, I wonder if my paints are too thin. All right, well, we're just gonna go with it and then we're gonna see what we can do to fix it, I guess. So I'm just gonna squish them out. See if I can get my color going. At this point, It's a hot mess, so let's make the best of it. At least there's some pretty colors here. So I guess I know now I do not want to do this as my big canvas, for sure. But I have to say I am getting some pretty colors. So if nothing else, it may not be a complete fail. So what I'm doing is just kind of squishing everything out. Let's see what happens. So it is like kind of leaving some negative space, but I think that'll fill back in. And I think I kind of want to put some of this paint down somewhere else. Maybe touch in some other places too. And I got one last one here, and then I'm gonna bring it over here on the side, because I like it when my design flows off to the side, which this one is doing that already. <clears throat> so, this did not go as planned, but I think we can save it. I definitely have some really cool cells with all that silicone, and I have some really nice paint on here. So I'm thinking I might wanna put that somewhere else. Let's touch it right here. See if we can save some of it. Okay, <laughs> that was a messy, messy little technique. All right, I'm gonna grab this big hair out of here. And then I think we are going to tilt it a bit and see what we can get going with it. Um, that's the one downfall of white negative space. You really don't want cat hairs or other things in it because you'll really see it once it dries. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I think we're going to tilt this a little bit and see what happens. I can definitely see my silver in there. I don't know. It could end up being like the coolest thing I've ever done by mistake. <laughs> All right. So let's tilt it and see if we can stretch some of this out a bit. If not, it's going to be a whole lot of negative space. And that's okay too. It might be someone's favorite painting, who knows? You never can tell what people will really love. I kind of feel like I need some more color on there though. I feel like this should be a whiter swatch. I think it's quite pretty, but I feel like it needs to be a little bit bigger. So let me see if I can wipe this balloon off a bit. Maybe dip into my plate. Let's see if I can get a little bit more color on here. Oh my goodness, this balloon is a hot mess, guys. They really get slippery when they get paint all over them. Holy cow. All right. I think I could have had my balloon a little bit smaller. There we go. All right. I'm going to dip back into my little plate of color over here and see if I can get a little bit more going in a couple of areas here. So let's go here and let's go. I'm just going to dip right back in here, I think. Why not? And let's go over here. 
Oh, that's kind of pretty. And let's go right here. <laughs> well, you know what? It may not be exactly how I intended, but it is pretty. It's not the worst thing I've ever done, that's for sure. But the worst thing I've ever done will never make it onto YouTube, I can tell you that. All right, I'm going to go right here with this one. Look how pretty that is. Holy cow. All right, and then I'm going to go right back into it. And I think I want to put some right here. There. I think my color has definitely bloomed out a bit more now. Let's go over here with it. There was a really nice cell right there, but that's all right. Hopefully it will come back. And then I kind of feel like this could be a little bit bolder. So let's dip back in and put this right here. Okay, look at that color on that plate and look at the cells. <laughs> this is like, look at that balloon. Isn't that amazing? All that silicone in the paint I think. All right so let's do one more over here and get a little more color there and I kind of think I'm gonna tap this actually I think I want a little bit more yellow in there so let's tap this up here on this corner and get a little bit more stuff there. Okay that's looking kind of cool. See you just never know what's gonna happen. All right, I think we kind of need a little bit more here. So that balloon looks pretty good actually, but let's dip one more time and we're gonna go right here with it. There's a little more color. That is very interesting. I would have never guessed this would be the result of this, but that's okay. I'm kind of digging it. All right, I'm gonna put this over here and I think we'll tilt just a tiny bit to kind of move things a bit and even it out a little bit more because right now I kind of have some blobs of paint. I really hope my silver shows up because this is really pretty. All right, and then I want to go back the other way just to kind of even out things. And I might actually blow on this just a tiny bit because it looks like the silicone, see right up here where I have kind of a void? I think that's from the silicone, but it's very pretty. And now that I have it up here in the light, I'm gonna try and tilt this so you guys can see. Now that I have it up in the light, I think my um, silver is definitely showing. So I think that silver is in there. Isn't that pretty? Wow, that's pretty cool, guys. All right, I think I'm just gonna blow on this a little bit. So feel free to fast forward so you don't have to see the top of my head as soon as I can find my straw. And I have a feeling that my cats took it. For some reason, my cats love my straw. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand what the attraction is to the straw, but all right, good thing I have extras. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can blow this up a little bit to cover this void here. And I thought I had another one, but maybe not. <clears throat> so right now I'm just gonna, actually I think what I'll do is see if I can just put a little bit of my pouring white right there. I think the problem is I think there's silicone there and it's probably down to the canvas. So we'll see if that voids out too. And then I'm just gonna see if I can blow this a little bit. Okay, I think that's looking quite interesting. <laughs> it's really pretty actually. I don't know, I might just do something like this in a bigger form for the, on top of the TV. 
it actually turned out really pretty. It's not, it is so not what I envisioned. It is definitely not little clusters of like flower-like presses, but I think it really gave me some interesting effects and the silicone definitely added all kinds of fun cells. And I can totally see my silver when the light hits it just right. So that makes me happy. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, please like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.